In today's Leeds news, Darlow set for medical, Leeds take on Forest, Rocket in permanent talks, Stroke wants to stay, Leeds under 18s win again, today's rumour mill, and Leeds agree another reciprocal deal. Hi folks, welcome to The View on the 27th of July. Jer here with your news. Not a massive amount going on this week, there really isn't, but um, we have to wait and see. It was a deal very close, we've got the game tonight, but outside of that, as becoming the trend, pretty tightly lipped on everything that's happening. Some of the in-the-know accounts starting to look a little shakier now than they did a couple of weeks ago. So um, there is some stuff moving, but not a huge amount coming out. Uh, also, just for the one a week, if you do like the channel, if you want to support and help the channel grow, you can do so by liking and subscribing to the channel. That helps as well. And also a reminder, if you want to be in a chance to win a Legion United shirt, the home shirt from this season, um, you need to like and subscribe to the videos before the end of this month, and then we'll do a draw and we'll contact the two winners at the end of the month. Right, let's crack on with the news and we'll start off with the imminent arrival of Carl Darlow at Leeds United and according to Sky Sports, Keith Downey, Carl Darlow will undergo his medical today, not tomorrow, that has been rumoured. And this is ahead of a permanent move to Leeds United. Darlow was rumoured to have agreed, Leeds were rumoured to have agreed a deal with Newcastle for in and around six to seven million pounds. However, it appears Leeds have got this deal done for 400,000 pounds, which is a steal of a price if that fee turns out to be true. There will be obviously be add-ons and stuff like that as well, but 400,000 for a player that was I don't think anyone would have really batted an eye at six million for for the goalkeeper, but four hundred k, it's not bad. Good business by Nick Hammond again. So that's two in the door. Um, very close to signing number two for Leeds United. So fingers crossed. Keep an eye on that today and tomorrow. Might see some um, official pictures of the player tomorrow or today. So keep an eye on that one. Um, Leeds will take on Nottingham Forest this evening. Leeds will play their fourth preseason friendly, third officially, fourth including behind closed doors game against Barnsley. Uh, they take on Nottingham Forest tonight at the Pirelli Stadium, which is the home of Burton Albion. The game is available on LUTV and there is a pass available over on LeedsUnited.com if you want to check that out. Game kicks off at 7.45pm UK time tonight. So looking forward to seeing more minutes from players and seeing this team progress a little bit further on and start to see what Daniel Farkas' starting eleven could look like come the start of the season. Uh, moving on top of players who have gone out on loan but will be, could be staying exactly where they are and Mark Rocca has been talking today and this is via Yorkshire Evening Post via Marca. So two different sources from this one and it is claimed in Spain by Market that Mark Rocca's representatives are in talk with Leeds United to make his loan move that's just been agreed to Betis a permanent move. So it's an interesting one to keep an eye on. It has happened before. Players have moved on loan and then all of a sudden the loan move has been made permanent pretty much straight away. Rocket has said that Betis have made a huge effort to get him to the club. He's very happy there and is committed to what they're trying to do there. He's been there a wet weekend and commitment, well, we've seen what that looks like with footballers. So, yeah, um, looks like Leeds may try and get some fee in now or this summer for Mark Rocket instead of next year. So, uh, talks ongoing around turning the loan move into an immediate permanent switch. So, wait and see. There is a 10 million clause in that deal. Talking to players that could be staying, Pascal Stroke has been talking to the Yorkshire Eden Post and LUTV over the last couple of days. The media stuff happened two days ago, some fantastic pictures, but Stroke has now been talking about the end of last season and his future at Leeds United. And he basically said that when the season finished, he likes to take a complete break from football, switch off from it completely, spend the time with his family and trying to clear his head mentally and get prepared to come back. He said that um, it's been two tough seasons and he, you know, what happened at the end of last season, he said he just needed a complete break from football to try and you know, reassess, centre himself, focus again and get ready to go again this season. Uh, he was talking about his future and he has had this to say on his future status at Leeds United. I mean, my contract isn't up till 2027, so I'm always ready to come back and give my all for this club. So yes, I was always going to stay. Stroke was also talking about Daniel Farkas' playing style since he's come in and he has been played in a right centre back position, which is not a not the usual position he plays in. It's usually left centre back or left back. But on on Farkas' style, he said the following: Since he's come in, he's been very direct, very open, and showing signs of football that I like personally, and I think has been good so far. We've seen glimpses of really good football from this team. It'd be interesting again tonight against Forest to see, you know, a slightly more level playing field than say against Monaco or Manchester United. And we'll see if this team is pushed on and get if another couple of days to work on some stuff. So it'll be interesting to keep an eye on it. I am looking forward to seeing that game at some point. 
I'm looking forward to seeing him to get a couple of goals in a preseason game. It'd be nice to see before the season starts. Uh, moving on, let's talk about the underage players and the under 18 side continue a pretty good preseason with another win, this time with a 3 1 win over Coventry City. Goals from Coben Bird, Connor Douglas, and Harvey Vincent give Leeds a 3 1 win. Uh, nice to see Colin Bird, uh, Coben Bird scoring again. I think it's the second goal in preseason after just signing for the club. So, um, Great to see the new players that have come in, the under age setup are also are making an impact pretty quickly, which is great to see. And moving on then to near the end, the today's rumor bill, and we'll go through this. And then um, if you laugh at this, don't don't blame me for laughing. Because some of this is you know yourself. Um, there's only one real story, and that's the Glenn Kamara story, which just won't go away, but also won't finish. <laughs> Isn't coming to anyone. If you believe the in the nose that are floating around Twitter, uh, this deal was close to being done 10 days ago with personal terms agreed and a fee agreed and a medical pending, and nothing has happened since. But according to Football Insider, so like it's just a huge pinch of salt because they just don't get anything right. But they are saying as part of their exclusive coverage of Legion United, which isn't exclusive, that they are leads are in advanced talks with Rangers. They are saying that there is personal terms have been agreed, as they have been for around two weeks now, apparently. Um, and that Leeds have won the race against 10 clubs, apparently, who are injured interested in signing Glenn Kamara. Does anyone believe that? I don't know if I do. Um, anyway, they're saying a four to five million pound deal for that. So wait and see, as we always say, wait and see. I don't, I really don't think there's much in this. It could just happen overnight. I could be very wrong, but it's been going on for so long at this stage now. And he was, Glenn Kamara was not in the Rangers side again this week. So that's two weeks in a row. He was supposed to be ill the first week. Is he still ill this week? Nobody really knows. And then finally today, Leeds have agreed another reciprocal deal for away fans and Leeds have agreed a reciprocal deal with Birmingham City this time which will see a reduced ticket price rate for Birmingham City travelling fans to Elland Road which will also then see the same rate applied to Leeds United fans when they travel to St. Andrews so that's pretty much it for today there's not a huge amount we're back tomorrow with more news anyway we have got the giveaway as well so if you want to be a chance to win a Leeds United shirt subscribe to the channel like the daily videos the more likes you have each day the more opportunities you have to win so we will announce that at the end of the month as well. We'll go through all of that and we'll see um, who's subscribed and who's liked. Put them all together and then pick up the two winners. Uh, and also we'll have our um, podcast tomorrow night for members as well, which will go tomorrow night. And then for everybody else in the channel, it'll go on Saturday morning as well. So that'll also happen. So more detail on that tomorrow in the news. So have a great day. Enjoy the game tonight. And I'll talk to you tomorrow for more Leeds news. See you then.